It's time to have a serious conversation about aliens. Are they here or are they not? And could they be influencing you? With so many undeniable UFO sightings and witnesses, thousands of people around the world, I'm convinced they're real. In this video, I'm going to share with you a personal experience for you to know how they could be present and how they're influencing us, how to identify symptoms and what to do about it. P.S. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Oh, that's amazing! It's a miracle! Wow! other entities has been strong in my field of awareness. Not once, twice, but three times in the past few weeks. In fact, on my online intuitive mastery training, we just cleared them out of our energy field. So this compelled me to provide some assistance to those of you who are really trying to get their lives back on track. So finally, I've got some grounded truth for you about alien presence. Have you ever wondered, are aliens or entities real? Yes, they are. And with a growing number of videos on YouTube about aliens, I'm not here to prove anything to you. Check out Bright Insights, his YouTube channel. He shares a fact that numerous U.S. presidents have acknowledged the existence of UFOs. Both Presidents George Bush and Mr. Obama said they can't reveal anything about the subject. What does that tell you? Honorable Paul Hellyer former Canadian defense minister who was actually an acting prime minister at one point, he says, yes, aliens are visiting Earth and there are multiple species, one which could be walking right down the street next to you and you would have no idea it was an alien. Yes, they are physically and then I believe they must be energetically present as well. Numerous NASA astronauts have said that aliens have contacted us, but the government has hidden the truth. The Pentagon's very own project called Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program, established in 2007, is a 490-page report detailing the whole program, their findings, even though it's not yet been released. People who are having difficulties with aliens in their personal lives, and, uh, <laughs> well, and, and, and it's... I'm sure people feel really distressed about it. Well, and, you know, and 8% of the public, according to one poll, is actually being abducted by them, hauled out of their bedrooms for experiments. Their mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, you ask anybody who has met them, they all kind of look the same. They all have this common report. Do we have an image? Do we have an image of that? See, they all look like that. Right. So, Seth, why do they all look like that? How do you get convergence? on what an alien looks like yeah. in that way. Yeah. Well, there is something in biology called, indeed, convergence. You know, I tell you what the aliens really look like. I don't know if you can handle this, but think of what we're going to do in I this... I can okay. handle the truth. <laughs> think what we're going to do in this century, which is invent thinking machines. The aliens have probably already done that. So the real aliens probably look like machines. Okay, so now that we've all heard it out of his mouth, um, we just need to everyone to look right here. Uh, just focus right there. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. What were we talking about? Please realize I'm not a UFO ET expert, nor am I a researcher, nor do I have a heightened fascination with ETs or UFOs or aliens. My work centers around facilitating personal healing utilizing my innate abilities and my learned abilities to release soul memories, dense energies, energetic viruses, and multidimensional realms that affect our physical lives here on Earth. Along the way, I remove energies that create personality disorders, repeating life challenges, unseen forces of paranormal interferences, including alien beings that disrupt a person's natural energy flow. In removing these energy blocks, we can heal core emotions, self-limiting beliefs, and live whole, vibrant, and abundant lives. Considering the fact that we've been lied to about alien presence by our own governments, could it be that alien beings don't even resonate at the same frequency as human beings, and that we can't even see their presence? Most people today agree that ghosts exist. In fact, many people have felt seen and been affected by ghosts somewhere in their life. Cameras have captured them. As I said, I'm not here to prove anything to you. I simply want you to consider that whether you believe it or not, 
some personality disorders, life struggles, pain, trauma, aggression, drug and alcohol dependencies, depression, unpredictable behavioral issues can be a result of undesirable entities that you had no idea were screwing with your life. Let me share a story. I'd like to go back to 2003 and share my own clairvoyant experience with a non-physical being. I called it an alien. I already mentioned I was never a Trekkie or a UFO person per se, but during the soul session with this client, I was clearing her energy field of foreign energy invasions and clarifying questions for her. And she asked me if I could take a look at her son's energy. She said in the last few weeks, he's not been himself. He was eight years old and almost overnight became unruly, depressed, had erratic behavioral changes. He was diagnosed with hyperactive attention deficit and the teachers wanted to put him on that nasty drug Adderall. When I looked at his energy field, what I saw definitely challenged my own sense of reality. And I remember telling my client, look, this is really gonna sound crazy, but I'm gonna just tell you what I see. There were alien beings plugged into the center of her son's head and looking through his eyes at the world. He was their host and they were using him as a window to the earth world. I remember thinking, am I making this up? It was really strange to me as I had never seen anything like that before at the time. And this feeling I had was like they were a submarine with a periscope peeking out of the water, hidden from view at depths of consciousness and frequency that we didn't have on Earth. They didn't seem to be controlling him except totally affecting his behavior, <laughs> changing his moods and his interests. My work entails moving these energies out of the aura um, because they don't belong there. And because I'm able to adjust my perception and have experience of knowing and knowing what to look for um, and interpreting what I see, I began removing these alien energies and saw that they were energetically connected to a spaceship that was then in turn connected to a mothership. It's as if there was these laser beams or laser light connections and that's how they move. The sense I had was that these crafts were at a frequency hidden from our view and beyond our awareness of our current technology. And I continued doing my work and I told my client, I sent ET home. Then my client informed me, strangely enough, that lately all the artwork and projects that her son had brought home from school were all drawings of aliens and, and spaceships. When she went to pick him up, shortly after our session, she told him, darling, I talked to Amira today and she sent E.T. home. And he said, oh, mom, they were my friends. Yikes. He didn't want to send them home. And she explained that E.T. had to go home. <laughs> my, my client then told me the very next day he was back out in the yard playing with his friends and his behavior completely returned to his normal self. The depression, the aggressive behavior, and all of that was gone and no need for any nasty drugs. So the question that I often ask is, how do aliens invade our space or our energy field? Well, they enter through what I call doorways or windows, openings in your energy field that can occur during a traumatic event, stuck emotions, low frequencies, drug and alcohol use, and, and there's many other things. With this client's example, he may have watched the movie, have had a fascination, and literally had an energetic invitation out to the ETs. Like, wow, I think that's cool. I'd like to be have one of them as my friends. Another example might be is if you've ever had a couple drinks, your behavior changes, right? Well, what happens is you open up your crown chakra and beings descend down to party on down at your place. <laughs> Energetic doorways open and non-physical beings plug into some picture or thought or belief and they feed off it. And it's a known fact that, you know, governments and corporations, they use artificial intelligent thought technology. So they're influencing your thinking. How might advanced beings be influencing us that's affecting us? In my experience, there are aliens operating at very sophisticated high levels of reality. They lurk, 
They program us, they control, harvest, experiment, and study us. Having a human body is a high spiritual privilege. And so spirit beings, entities, aliens, they want to have that experience of being inside a human body. Your job is to keep your energy space or a clear, strengthen it, clear it of foreign energies to fulfill your soul's purpose. So over the past 20 years in doing all this work, I've no doubt in my mind that aliens exist and are presently influencing many of us here on the planet. In fact, there's a whole range of influences that we can't see that are derailing our own spiritual awakening, growth, and development. Your job is to awaken to what you are, energy. You're a powerful creator, and it's time to take your power back. Amira, 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 I don't even know where to start with you. Well, I first met Amira when I was going through a very hard period in my life. Uh, my life was an absolute turmoil. My relationships were an absolute mess. I kept attracting the same kind of men into my life over and over again. My financial situation was bad. I was actually jobless and in need of money. I was stuck in the same position. My family situation was not going so well either. Lots of quarrels going on. And one night I just couldn't take it anymore. So I called Amira and I begged for a session immediately. A few days later we were on Skype having a session and um, boy oh boy did she move blocks. Um, she worked on my whole energy field, moved past lives away, threw things in the Kashik records, um, took away energy that was not mine, rejuvenated myself with my own energy, um, and really encoded some beautiful things into my energy field. A few days later, I started feeling the changes. Everyone was starting to treat me differently. Um, a week later, I attracted a new man. A week and a half later, I got offered a job at this beautiful spiritual center. And so, suddenly everything started moving back on the path again. And I think that's exactly what Amira does. She pushes you back onto the path. And we all know that when we're on the path, we're absolutely happy and in a very blissful state. So if you're wondering whether to have a session with Amira or not, just talk to her. You can feel her energy. It's very strong. Even from miles away, you can feel it. Very vibrant. And it instantaneously lifts you up. So, if you're thinking, just do it. And Amira, thank you.